guys. Uh, I was doing some turkey hunting this morning. Beautiful spring day. And, uh, <coughs> well, not seeing any turkeys today. Hearing a few gobble, but uh, nothing close. But man, it's a beautiful day. I'm thankful to be out here and enjoying creation. Um, yeah, so I just today was going to share something with you guys real quick uh, you know just I get asked mostly by my family or friends like fairly often why in the world would you choose to hunt primitive um, use basically give yourself a disadvantage <clears throat> when you're hunting um, you know animals that are tough to hunt anyways deer and turkeys and small game whatever but, uh, so just gonna talk a couple minutes about, you know, why, why hunt primitive if it's, it's obviously more difficult. Um, why not just choose the easy route? And, uh, you know, obviously Flintlock, it's still, uh, very, these are, they're very, uh, deadly weapons. And you just have to get closer. Same with the primitive bow and arrow. <clears throat> yeah, it's harder, but it's still, you know, very effective weapons to the, um, if you're practiced and trained with them. But anyways, um, definitely have to get closer and be more, uh, spend more time practicing, <clears throat> being prepared. But just because something's harder doesn't mean that it's, you know, a lesser option or what have you. I personally, I, I like primitive hunting because it's it forces me to try to get closer to my per, uh, quarry, and uh, you know I just enjoy it. It's it's awesome to get out here in God's creation with um, tools that are the same as our forefathers used and people hundreds of years ago, <clears throat> even thousands of years ago, you know, with the bow and arrow. And so, that's, you know, it's just enjoyable, you feel, I feel more connected to creation and to, I guess, those that came before, which is uh, a good thing, you know, to not forget our history and where we came from. And then it's more satisfying when you do harvest an animal, not that that's everything, obviously we want to harvest animals, we want to, you know, we enjoy eating what we kill, and, uh, <clears throat> You know, using that meat wisely, not wasting. But uh, that's not the the only reason that I'm out here. If it was, I'd just, you know, I'd take a modern weapon. But, and there's nothing wrong with modern weapons, don't get me wrong. I just prefer the primitive and definitely feel, you know, more challenged and enjoy it more personally and uh, feel connected more with creation and with our past, where we've come from. But, uh, so anyways, you know, just because something's more difficult doesn't make it, make it worse. And, but it can often feel like, <clears throat> you know, when you miss or you can't get close enough for a shot, you know, animals are hanging up just outside of range and you're like, man, if I'd have had a 12 gauge with a full choke, I'd have got him for sure. Or I'd have, you know, if I had a compound, that would have been an easy shot. Um, you know, doesn't mean you're doing something wrong because things don't go the way you want them to. And, uh, you know, it's the same way in the Christian life. It's, you know, it's almost like we expect things to go easy because of uh, following Christ. You know, God's all-powerful and all, so you know, he's sovereign, so why, you know, wouldn't he want what's, what's best? for his children and yes he does want what's best for his children but his best isn't the same as our best and so um, you know I've just been thinking about that recently um, just you know in our own family going through some really difficult trials and tribulations and it's easy to feel like you're doing something wrong because you're having troubles you're having problems but <clears throat> just reading John chapter 16 and 17 and and uh, being reminded of Jesus' words, um, you know, that in this world you will have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. And so, uh, remembering that, 
we will have trials and tribulations in this world. James tells us we're to count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. You're talking about trials and tribulations. Um, <clears throat> because the trying of our faith worketh patience. And he goes on from there just to talk about how God uses tribulations and trials in our lives to refine us. And uh, the Bible's full of that. You know, God's people go through difficult times. And, uh, you know, the world goes through difficult times too. Um, but just because we follow Christ doesn't mean that we're going to have a free pass. The prosperity gospel is hogwash. God has not promised us um, an easy road. Uh, he doesn't, his best for us is not health and wealth, you know. <clears throat> that's, that's rubbish. And uh, if you read the Bible, you'll see that. God's best for us is to know him and to draw close to him. And so sometimes it's trials and tribulations that draw us closer to him. And, uh, and sometimes there's no explanation for it. Just read the book of Job. But God remains faithful, and he um, will walk with you through it every step of the way if you'll trust him. And uh, so being a Christian doesn't make life um, you know, less hard as far as the tribulations and trials you'll face, but you'll walk through it. You won't walk through it alone, you know. Christ will be with you throughout, and that's what we've been learning in our own family. Just um, that's what we've been seeing. It's God's faithfulness throughout each tribulation we come on, and uh, you know, just have to trust Him. And it's hard, and it's not easy. Um, sometimes you're tempted to think you're doing something wrong, something you know that's that's causing this these problems, but. You know, unless there is sin treasured in your heart and disobedience to God, that's not going to be the case. And he's going to make that clear. If you're being punished, you know, God, what father doesn't make it clear why he's punishing his child? And God is a good father. And so we can trust him. Um, and so if that's not the case, you know, this is a broken world. It's sin cursed. And yet God is able to redeem those trials and tribulations. Um in our lives for good to draw us to himself and, um we can trust him and i praise god for that and so i just encourage you with that and you know just become because things are more difficult doesn't mean something is wrong with you or your family um hey, what are we doing search your heart for sure and make sure that you're you tell us walking you're closely doing? with your god but um Jesus said, you know, in this world you shall have tribulation. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world.